I've been wall climbing indoors for a while. But climbing outdoors, it's a totally different experience. Welcome to Toledo, a city in the province of Cebu. Here, my friends and I spent two solid days of rock climbing. On our first day, we went to Poog Crag, a wall of beautiful white rock with four areas to climb. We settled in area two, the beginner's wall. Jagged edges, flakes, jugs, cracks, these all mold to form the beautiful white wall of Poog. Warmed up and ready to go, we took on several routes of varying grades. And it was definitely a lot of fun. And I quickly learned that although climbing indoors had helped build up my strength, climbing outdoors was really testing my fear of falling. On our second day, we headed to another famous crag in Toledo. A short hike and a downhill climb would lead us to Area 3 of the Cantabaco Crag. And although it rained when we arrived, we were lucky that it didn't last long. Here in Cantabaco, the rock is a little different. The limestone wall is a little flatter and not as jagged, but still offering challenging routes for climbing. After preparing our gear, chalking up, and making an offering to the gods for good weather, we began working on the roots. In climbing, you really have to commit. Outdoors, the entire wall can be used. You have to focus and feel around the holds with your hands and your feet with no colors to guide you like an indoor gym. At the same time, it is also a mental game. And you have to cast your fear aside as you climb higher and higher up. You have to push yourself past your limit. And with your friends behind you, you can accomplish a lot. And yes, you can rest along the way when you find a good hold. But sometimes you won't. And if you fall, you get up again. You climb. You push even further. Because the rush you get when you finish a route is 
is unlike any other. In Cebu, I experienced my first ever outdoor climb. And I will forever be grateful to these group of people, my friends, who made it all the more unforgettable.